Okay, in the part 4 video, we worked through example number A and B, where we were first uh, completing the square and then applying uh, integration by trigonometric substitution to evaluate the integrals. We're going to go on to example number C this time. Uh, so in C, we have got the integral of dx divided by 4x squared minus 24x plus 27 all raised to the power 3 halves all right um, so first thing we're going to need to do here is to complete the square uh, we already mentioned that uh, before we complete the square we need the coefficient of x squared to be 1 so in this case, the coefficient is 4. Now, mind you, because this is not an equation, it's an expression, we can't divide by 4, but we can factor 4 out. So we're just going to factor 4 between the first two terms. So this is going to be x squared minus 6x. 27 remains exactly as it was before. And then we're going to complete the square inside the square brackets and then once we have done that we will remove the brackets so this is going to be x minus half of 6 is 3 then squared then we take away the square of 3 which is 9 okay um, and then of course this is plus 27 Okay, then, then uh, we simply multiply out by 4. Um, so that's going to be x minus 3 squared minus 36 plus 27. So 4 into x minus 3 squared. Um, this is going to be minus uh, is it minus 9, 27, and 36? Yes, it is minus 9. Alright, so what this means is that our integral we can write as uh, integral of dx over 4 into x minus 3 squared minus 9. Uh, it's going to help us here if we factor out the 4. Um, we can factor it now or we can factor it later. Maybe let's uh, do it later. So if we let u now be x minus 3 here, du is going to be dx. So this simply just uh, recasts the integral in terms of a new variable u um, and now you can see that the quadratic expression we have got does not have the middle uh, x or in this case u term but then before we do the trigonometric substitution we you remember we need the squared term to have a coefficient of one so we need to factor out four there so when we factor out four outside we're going to have four to the power three halves then remaining inside would be u squared minus nine over four um, to the power 3 halves then of course 4 to the power 3 halves is 8 because first of all you take the square root and then you you cube that so this is what we have now u minus 9 over 4 u squared to the power 3 halves since the u squared is positive okay we have got a minus here but the squared term is positive, so it's a second substitution. 
um so we're gonna let u be equal to and uh our a is gonna be three over two second theta then du is going to be three halves secant theta tangent theta d theta u squared is going to be nine over four secant theta squared so our integral we can now rewrite as one over eight into three over two secant theta tangent theta t theta then in the denominator we're going to have 9 over 4 secant squared theta minus 9 over 4 this is to the power 3 halves and then um, 3 halves times 8 Gonna be three over sixteen. Uh, secant theta times tangent theta d theta. Um, inside the square brackets, we're going to factor out nine over uh, four. So nine over four here. Secant squared minus one. Well, but 9 over 4, sorry, second squared um, minus 1 is tangent squared. So there's two things we're going to do in the next step. Uh, 3 over 16 here. So the one thing that we're going to do is, so in the denominator, if we... Uh, work out or we take out 9 over 4 from the uh, root this is the 3 halves root so we're going to have 9 over 4 to the power 3 halves uh, 9 to the power 3 halves is 27 and then 4 to the power 3 halves is 8 then um, second squared minus one is tangent squared to the power of three halves. Um, so we're going to have three over 16, eight over 27. Mm, then there's going to be second theta, tangent theta, d theta all divided by tangent cubed it is going to be okay um so the tangent is going to cancel out so that is going to work out to 1 over 18 because uh, a goes twice here this goes three and uh, sorry this goes nine times and nine times two is 18 in the numerator we're still going to have secant in the denominator we're not going to have tangent squared um if I write this in terms of sines and cosines uh, this is going to be so in the denominator we've got sine squared in the numerator we've got cosine squared and then in the denominator again, we've got cosine because uh, that's what secant is. So this thing is going to work out to 1 over 18 um, into cosine theta over sine theta squared. However, this we can write is cotangent theta cosecant theta which is a standard integral uh, and uh, its value is negative cosecant theta so that completes the integration then we need to revert back to x so first from theta to u 
then from u to x um, the formulas from u to theta we have got u is three halves secant um, so u 3 over 2 secant theta this tells us that cosine theta is going to be 3 over 2u then we can do our right angle triangle this is going to be 3 this is going to be 2u this is going to be square root of 4u squared minus 9 so 1 over sine um, so sine is going to be this over this so 1 over sine is going to be this over that um, so sine theta is 4 u squared minus 9 square root of that over 2 so that tells us that our integral which is minus 1 over 18 1 over sine 2u 4u squared minus 9 mm -hmm. let's see so the 2 and the 18 are going to give us 1 over 9 then u in terms of x so we'll go back to our substitutions u is x minus 3 so we're going to have x minus 3 in the numerator in the denominator we're going to have 4 into x minus 3 squared minus 9 and then again if we check through our calculation we've got a simplified version of this um, so here we go, 4 into that, x minus 3 squared minus 9 is that. So this is going to be negative 1 over 9, x minus 3 divided by the square root of 4x squared minus 24x plus 27 plus c and that brings us to the end of that one okay one more to go uh, which is example number d we're going to give you example number d to have a go at just want to uh, pause the video work through it and then when you press play you will find our solution to compare with okay all right uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solution for part d we uh, remind you again if you've got any questions or comments on any of the stuff we do or you'd like us to do a particular topic uh, please uh, feel free to post uh, in the comment section and of course uh, we hope this uh, these are very useful to you do not um, we just uh, urge you to subscribe to our channel to support um, our our vision. All right. So for the um, part D, um, again the x squared has got a negative on it. So we're going to start by um, um, factoring that out. We just need to deal with the two terms the five will leave it as it is then we'll complete the square here so minus half of this and then take away the square of that and then if we remove the square brackets this becomes positive so that's going to be nine and so our integral is going to look like this then we make this into a new variable u du is going to be dx so then it looks like this the squared term is negative so it means uh, it's a sign substitution We've got three squared here so our a is three so du and u squared are as shown here and so this is going to be three cos theta d theta 
So that's going to be 9 minus 9 sine squared. We factor out 9 here. So that's going to be cos squared. This is just uh, 3 cos theta over 3 cos theta. Okay. So that's going to be uh, theta. But uh, we know that uh, from our substitution here, sine theta is u over 3. So theta is going to be inverse sine u over 3. Then uh, from our first substitution, u is x minus 2. So it's going to be inverse sine one third of into x minus 2. All right. Thank you.